trying to capture the power of the sea to light the shore. It was tried here 75 years ago by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, but the massive construction project in Eastport, Maine failed early after running way over budget. Decades later, there's a new high-tech approach. A 20-minute boat ride from Eastport, the first commercial tidal energy project in North America is in its final test phase. The tides here are huge, more than six meters in height. We're on an anchored barge at the mouth of the Bay of Fundy. Now, it has the largest tidal movement of anywhere in the world. This is what it looks like when the tide is going out. Now, this project uses turbines below the surface of the water, harnessing this power and converting it into electricity. The turbines are engineered so that they will always turn in the same way, whether the tide is rolling in or out. They are made from racing boat material and are shaped like airplane wings. The turbines power a generator, creating electricity. Cables carried on shore and directly into the power grid. In three years, they hope to power 1,200 homes. Believe it or not, there's one moving part in this. Chris Sauer says that he can see light at the end of the tunnel for his startup company. But there's work ahead before profits will be made. Offsetting the $21 million startup cost, $10 million came from the Department of Energy. We are not economically viable yet. By 2020, uh, we are going to be, we believe, competitive with any new sources of power, and that includes uh, fossil fuels. And other questions still have to be answered. The long-term repercussions of the project are being studied, including the impact on marine life. We need to look at the environmental effect and know how much energy we can get out of it. Then we can have the conversation with the community and as a society about whether we're going to develop this resource. As for the economic impact, Eastport has seen better times and is hoping to feel the benefit. Alice Cates' family arrived in the 1700s. When I grew up, we had 13 canneries along the waterfront here. We couldn't get down the sidewalk on a Friday night. But the local seafood industry collapsed, businesses left town, and many residents went with them. Now this project is employing 100 people so far. One job here is a lot of jobs. It really is, and, and it's been, they've been extremely good. Um, and it isn't just in this community, it's Lubec and it's all over, I think 13 of the 16 main counties have some supply uh, connection into this company. So once again, Eastport looks to the sea for a lifeline, hoping to avoid the disappointment of seven decades ago and become a center for alternative energy. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Eastport, Maine.